Hi guys, I am Suprabha. In this video, we will see the examples asked in GATE for EC in the year 2016. First example, given the following statements about function f, this indicates domain and this indicates codomain. Domain consists of input values, codomain consists of output values. Select the right option. Before the, we read the options, let me tell you one sentence that is, if function is continuous, it may it may or may not be be differentiable but if function is differentiable it is always continuous now let us apply this statement to our options and let us choose let us see which one is correct if f of x is continuous then it is also differentiable if it is continuous, it is also differentiable. But the statement says it may or may not be. So, this is false. Second, if f of x is continuous at x equal to x naught, then it may not be differentiable at x equal to x naught. Again, we will apply this statement. If it is continuous, it may not be differentiable. So, this is true. If f of x is differentiable at x equal to x naught, then it is also continuous. The second statement, if the function is differentiable, differentiable it is al always continuous. So, we have p as false, q as true and r as true. Let us compare it with the given option. Option b is correct. That says p is false, q is true, r is true. So, for the first example, we got the option correct as B. The second example, as x varies from minus 1 to 3, which of the following describes the behavior of function f of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 1. I will not read the given options, first we will go directly for the example. Now, what they have given, they have given the range of x that varies from minus 1 to 3 and they have defined one function. We are supposed to find out the nature of function. Nature of function in the sense, at which point the function is increasing or decreasing. We know that in one of the video tutorial, we had seen that critical points are those points where the function changes its direction. So, first we will find out the critical points. For critical points, we need we need to find the derivative because critical points occur when derivative is equal to 0. So, f dash x is equal to 3x square minus 6x. Derivative is equal to 0. So, let us take 3x as common, we get x minus 2. So, points will be x equal to 0 or x equal to 2. These are the two critical or stationary points where the given function f of x will be changing its direction. Let us substitute these critical points in the given function value so that we will get the value of function at these critical points. First we will substitute 0. The function will be 0 minus 0 plus 1 and now we will substitute the second critical point. This will be 8 minus 3 into 4 plus 1. 8 minus 12. This will be minus 3. Now at x equal to 0, the value of function is 1. At x equal to 2, the value of function is minus 3. Now this is sufficient to conclude whether the function at this point is increasing or decreasing. For our clarity, what we will do? Our function is increasing from minus 1 to 3. These are our two critical points. For our clarity, first we will find out the value of function at points minus 1 and 1. So that we will get the exact option. At 
x equal to minus 1, the value of function will be minus 1 minus 3 plus 1 minus this will be minus 3. And at x for x equal to 0, we have the value at x equal to 1, this would be minus 1. And at the last point, at x equal to 3, the value of function will be 27 minus 3 into 9 plus 1. So, this will get cancelled and we get 1. I will just at from minus 1 to 0, the value of function is changing from minus 1 minus 3 to 1. That means function value of function is increasing. After that, from 0 to 1. At 0 we have 1, at 1 we have minus 1. That means 1 to minus 1 it is decreasing. After that from 1 to 2, 1 value we have here minus 1 to minus 3. That means it is again decreasing. And at the last point from 2 to 3, minus 3 to 1. That means it is increasing. Now, let us compare with one of the options. f of x increases monotonically. This is absolutely wrong because we are getting the change in the function. f of x increases, decreases, increases. Let us compare with the options. Yes, it is increasing, decreasing and increasing. So, option b is correct. There are two more examples that we will see in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you understood the concept. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. For more details, get ready for these videos. Guys, help us to help you. So, please like my video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.